so welcome back. Today I'm with Dalmont and I'm at my faction base on 666 on the Russian Flea server. You would have seen it in the Star Made Racing League. We've got some new things uh, building off the side here. So uh, Dalmont's got a new ship in here to show me and I've also built a brand new ship today. So I want to show you that. So hello Dalmont. Howdy guys. And uh, today we've got the new Ship 3 Combat Refit. That ship looked just a little bit too aggressive to go uh, unbattle tested, so uh, we stripped a few of the unnecessary features and threw on some turrets, and here we are. And she's a beauty, of course I would say that. This being the sister and ship. <laughs> Two new ship three, which we of course have just down there. Still looking grand as ever, of course. There are some great shots of the new weapon pods, they're nice. These giant turret, look at this giant. Dub the the jackhammer. Well, I like that. Maybe I'll rebrand it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that one. I, I really like this, the way it's been adapted. It's subtle, but there it is. We've got uh, quadruple the shields on it. And about 80,000 DPS. So less rooms, more interior function. Precisely. The only things we really had to nix, though, were the uh, the texture pack room and the forward observation lounge. Everything else is still intact. Oh, well, that's not too bad, though, when you think about it. Nah, the, most of it was just cargo space down there. And I gotta say, I like it in black and white. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you don't really need the scouting vehicle either, do you? Nah, not with the combat variation. I did uh, toy with the idea of putting one of my little scout ships on it, but it ended up uh, just seriously taking away from the profile of the ship, which surprised me, unfortunately. But uh... It's a sleek little ship, though, man. Yeah, and turrets, I don't know. The turrets, they integrate pretty well into the design, I think. I think the, the little top turrets are my favorite bet, to be honest. Nice. Doesn't make it look too chunky. Well, let's take a look at that new ship down there that I've been building. I just finished it today. It's a Shroom Lancer. 100% my design, built and developed over today. Came up with the concept of uh, firing missiles from a uh, quite far apart, so that they'd all impact one after the other and then just built the concept up from there, ended up with 16 point defense turrets and two medium sized turrets on top for sort of uh, shields and things, big shield ships. She's already proven to be quite effective as well. Uh, how many shields did the original new ship have? The original new ship had uh, just over 1.1 million I believe, something like that, maybe so two, that's one, maybe two. Yeah, that's 1.1 million in three volleys. At least. Um, and it's what I was doing was I was firing the BB and then timing the D1000s to hit at the same time and the combined volley is enough to break the shields and cause damage. After that point, the reload time on this is actually scary, so you can fire again really quickly. I don't remember what it was, but uh, it's quite effective. And of course, the BBs allow 360 lock on, which is nice. I've already got some footage, which I would have just shown you. So uh, there was that. So you, a lot of people ask, what did I use for the front? It's cactus. <laughs> I found that at a distance, it just gave me a really nice smooth green. And the top face I could use for flooring. Uh, it just gives it a different texture. Yeah, that's one thing I really like about this design. It's something that I don't think a lot of people do. I think uh, cactus and some of the other organic blocks are almost the same density as normal hull. So it's not like you're really losing much in the way of armor. 
Nope. Uh, and some of the effects that you can achieve are pretty exceptional. I know yeah. you're definitely going to be toying with those ideas in the future. This is really a different use, which and it surprises me too, because in, in games like Minecraft and stuff, you'll see people using just about everything for anything. Over here, it tends and to be pretty standardized. And of course, anyone who watched the speed build video um, will know that it's blocky because I deliberately used big block build mode for the most part. I wanted to see how quick I could build a decent sized ship that was just using missiles and then eventually turrets for the final design. This is what I ended up with and you'll know too. Very similar to the uh, new design for the uh, hangar. We seem to have a visitor. Very interesting design. what you're doing. it this will be finished soon i plan to put a little factory up top so i can do some more tutorials uh thanks for watching so far cheers for dalmont uh cheer carrying on here <laughs> and uh, thanks for having me as always and building all these sh awesome ships because like i say i love my new new ship it's great it's been touring a lot but uh yeah i'll see you in the next one guys